In this video, we're going to be working through a variety of examples on how to factorise expressions using difference of two squares. When we expand a plus b times a minus b, we get the expression a squared minus b squared. This is what we call a difference of two squares. We can use this knowledge so that any time we see expressions that are written in this form, we use this identity to help us with the factorization. Our first example, we want to factorize x squared minus 9. We can rewrite this as x squared minus 3 squared. We see that this is a difference of two squares, so this would factorize to x plus 3 times x minus 3. Our second example, 100 minus y squared, can be written as 10 squared minus y squared. So this would factorize to 10 plus y times 10 minus y. Just note here, the order of the second factor 10 minus y is important because 10 minus y isn't the same as y minus 10. Our third example, 25x squared minus 1, we can rewrite this as 5x or in bracket square minus 1 squared. So this would factorize to 5x plus 1 times 5x minus 1. Our next example, we've got 4x squared minus 9y squared. Again, we can rewrite this as 2x in bracket square minus 3y in bracket square, and this factorizes to 2x plus 3y times 2x minus 3y. Our fifth example, 64a squared b squared minus 81c squared, we can rewrite this as 8ab or in bracket square minus 9c or in bracket square, and this factorizes to 8ab plus 9c times 8ab minus 9c. Our next example, 3y squared minus 108. Now we may recognize that 3 and 108 aren't perfect squares, but what we can do is we can factorize out the 3 first, so that we get 3 times y squared minus 36. We now have got a difference of two squares. We can rewrite this as 3 times y squared minus 6 squared, which factorizes to 3 times y plus 6 times y minus 6. Our next example, 8p squared minus 50q squared. Both 8 and 50 aren't perfect squares, but we can use the trick of factorizing out the 2 so that we get 2 times 4p squared minus 25q squared, which can be written as 2 times in bracket 2p squared minus in bracket 5q squared, and this now factorizes to 2 times 2p plus 5q times 2p minus 5q. Our next example contains fractions. We can rewrite this as 2x over 3, or in bracket square, minus y over 5, in bracket square, and this factorizes to 2x over 3 plus y over 5 times 2x over 3 minus y over 5. And our last example, x to the 4 minus y to the 4. This can be written as x squared squared minus y squared squared. So we can write this as x squared plus y squared times x squared minus y squared. Now you notice that x squared minus y squared is also a difference of two squares. So we can factorize further and our final answer becomes x squared plus y squared times x plus y times x minus y. Thanks everyone for watching the video. Hope you guys found that helpful. Please help us by clicking like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.